of course, it has gotten a lot of national attention, a lot of national scrutiny. There's been investigations on the federal, state, and local levels. But as you say, to date, no arrest in the murder of 49-year-old Nanette Crendel. It took place five years ago. We all remember the story. Her body was found really in the charred remains of her secluded home in Lacombe. At first, uh, investigators believed that she had been the victim of that fire. But then they found that she had actually sustained a gunshot wound to the head and that the fire had been intentionally set. And certainly this was determined a homicide. After a lengthy probe, her husband, then Fire Chief Stephen Crintel of District 12, was cleared, as well as a number of other suspects in that case. But five years later, friends and family refused to let her memory die. It's been said that um, we die twice. Once when the last breath leaves us, and again, once the last person that we know says our name. And I'm making it, you know, my goal to always say Nanette's name and to continue to say her name until, you know, justice is brought to her and her family. It has been five years, and tonight friends and family will gather in front of the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Office for a vigil that will take place tonight at 6 o'clock. You know, updating the case, as we said earlier, this case is now in the hands of the St. Tammany Parish District Attorney's Office for further investigation, but at this point, the outcome is still the same. No arrest in the murder of 49-year-old Nanette Crentel. We will certainly keep you updated. Guys, back to you. All right, Heath, thank you very much. That's